topic of the week that I've been having with friends, family, colleagues, tons, like it's, it's just come up, is body pain linked to childhood. And for me with lower back pain I f and hip pain, I finally got to the fucking root of what it was. And it's been like seven years, eight years, and there's, you know, I've gone through different modalities and a lot of things have helped and gotten close, but never was that root cause. And so what I'd say is a couple things. Number one, if you have any body pain right now, just take a notice of that because we're going to go in like a sniper into that in today's session. And whether it's the throat, the hips, the lower back, middle back, shoulders, um, these have all been coming up a conversation I've been having. And the key point uh, for me was, okay, what side is it on? I've heard from... I'd always heard like the left side is the feminine side, right side is the masculine side. So the philosophy is if you have pain on the left side, you know, there's probably some repressed emotions there from say the women figures in your life. And conversely on the right side, the idea is that you have, you know, male figures, could be dad, stepdad, whatever, some repressed issues there. So you know, that was helpful for me, but it still wasn't like getting to the root cause. And the thing that made all the difference for me was left side. I, well, I just looked at it with my back. Left, lower back is supposed to be like supporting, feeling supported or having to support uh, others. You feel like you're supporting too much. So what I realized is the left side that made sense was emotion. Supporting the emotional uh supporting the emotional well-being of the family and feeling I always had to support that. And the value said, every limb I ever broke is on the right side of my body. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, so as I explored this, it just started opening up my back in real time. So it was like, okay, growing up, I felt like I you know, had a higher emotional intelligence or emotional awareness, whatever, so I got to be like managing the emotional state of everyone around me. And then, and then on the flip side, the right side being the actions of, they're very similar but slightly different. Like a person with a right back pain would feel like, okay, I got to take the actions to support the family or make or keep the peace. That's another topic is things that keep the peace. And those actions, and it's more, it's very similar, but actions are say like making sure people do certain things, show up to certain places or not do certain things. Like that's very action orientated. So left side emotion, emotions um, to keep the peace, right side actions to keep the peace. And so it's interesting with value shared on, on the right side of your body. I, I wonder what would, you know, connect with you on that of like being responsible for certain actions. Um, one lady that I was talking to, one friend, she felt it was on her right side and it was, um, actually it was on the left side and it was shoulders. So it was like carrying the emotional burdens of the family. Which is kind of similar to the like left back support. Maybe support is like managing. And then the burden is kind of like everybody just dumps the emotions on you. Or on the right side, it'd be like everybody dumps the actions on you. Well, we need to do this, this, this to get ready for, you know, the relatives coming in town. Well, falls on you. Too bad. And so that's what I would explore is that what's flaring up this week? So many people I talked to had like flare ups, like legit. I mean, I'm telling you, it's like seven ongoing, really intense flare ups. Um, another thing is it, it could be, okay, so yeah. So let me know in the comments if there's a flare up this week. Pain, tension, sharpness. Another person was dealing actually with a, well, I'll, I'll just wait this one. Cough and sore throat. That's the one I was just going to say. <laughs> wow. Okay. So yeah, somebody very close to me has a uh, cough and sore throat as well. And oh, I'll just wait for that extra comment to come here. Because with the cough and sore throat, naturally it's not like left or right side. It's just a, you know, it is what it is. So, well, very tight back all over. Yeah. Okay. So emotions and actions. 
So another thing that unlocked things, oh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. So another thing that I wondered to myself is like, why in the fuck is this flaring up right now or has been flaring up? And why do I have to go through all these emotional issues to like build, say, true freedom? When in past businesses, I haven't had to. And I swear here because it really had been pissing me off. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, why do I all of a sudden have to go through all this? And I was reading the book, The Gene Keys, and there was something completely unrelated and it just said it in a couple lines, which is um, certain ages being linked to certain um, ages, I guess. So the concept is that we go through seven year cycles where our body forms. And we know that from science that like our body renews itself every seven years. So the concept is there's a certain imprinting that happens zero to seven years, certain imprinting that happens seven to 14 years, certain imprinting that happens 14 to 21 years. So then I realized like, oh, that makes sense to me why my current age is all stuff that's happening, you know, that was happening in grade school, seven to 14 years. And so it's like, you know, in my 20s, that wasn't like a bigger issue. But now that it's come into the cycle, those are the um, repressed emotions, suppressed emotions that now our adult self is revisiting. So I'd say take a look at this and see where, um, what age range, original age range we fall in. And this has been so powerful for me because it's allowed us to just have such clear targeting. So the person that I was talking to yesterday about their sore throat and cough, we find out that her age range is in the 17 to 14. That's where she felt uh, her, her deal. And she felt like she couldn't communicate the truth with a loved family member. She saw a loved family member like not being responsible and hurting herself and she couldn't speak out on that. She wasn't able to speak out with her little, you know, eight year old self or 10 year old self, whatever it was. So with um, the cough and sore throat, that's what I'd take a look at is, you know, in your age range, in that childhood range, where did you feel like you couldn't express what you wanted to say? Where did you feel like your voice was stifled? And as I was literally looking this up yesterday, it tends to be with grief and frustration. Like there's an anger there, but there's also grief of like, at least in this person, like why are you doing this to yourself? Okay. So yeah, very tiny back below there. So feel free to share what uh, comes up in the comments on this. And what we'll go through here today is because, um, let's see here. Yeah, for myself, last Friday, I was, I literally, like, these things just dawned on me. I was like, oh my God, it makes sense. So I did like a, a breathwork session with it. And then it's just the emotions came out. So, yeah, Val said, when you were six, you were told the family's moving 500 miles from where you were born and had no choice but to follow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's it. So that's what we'll address today is not being able to speak out and express yourself, how you felt. Mm -hmm. And now come into, you know, adulthood when we're creating our passion business. This is so in, 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 internally linked, you know, to being able to speak our truth, communicate, share what we love to do. It's all linked. So Addressing this makes things flow smoother, smoother in adulthood. So there's one other thing like this, and uh, so what we'll do today is we'll go and address that our inner child. We'll we'll have a conversation with them at that age, and this is what's just been working wonders with people because we have such precise targeting of what age were they, uh, what were they going through. And what were they, you know, what was the issue? And then we'll parent them. You parent yourself on given that your inner child, what it needed at that time and let um, your inner child know that they're not alone anymore. They're safe because you're there and you've got a team now. 
So in your adulthood, you have new resources, new tools, new awareness. Um, so things are different now. Whereas in childhood, you know, we're rolling with the best that we got. And we're not equipped to handle these things. Uh, mentally, emotionally. We, don't, we just don't have the tools. So we'll go through that process. And it's just wild to me because uh, for me, like, literally my back's locked up like this. And I started doing this. And I just, like, I felt it, like, real time, in real time. It started loosening up. I was just like, wow. Because it's like our little self goes through that pain or whatever that is, that shock, and, and holds on out of fear. I mean, like, when somebody gets really fear, you know, just shocked with fear, it's like that tension. Frozen and fight or flight, not able to do either. So that imprint, the chemicals that are released there actually go to the certain places in our body and, and bind to the receptors there and then are left there. And that's what holds the, the tension uh, biologically. So then when our subconscious finally says, okay, hey, we can release these, these um, chemicals, then the muscles loosen up. Otherwise, no amount of stretching. It's just like a brute force method <laughs> to, to releasing it. So I think the last thing on this I'd share is, or I will share, is addressing core fears here. So... Just some core fears, you know, fear of running out of money, fear of not being liked or fear of not being accepted, fear of not being loved, you know, whatever one resonates with you more, fear of running out of time, fear of being trapped. You know, these are like core fears uh, just hum of humanity. So <clears throat> you can just see which one connects with you. And I'd say at that age, at that age, are any of these, you know, really connect with you? 